The iPhone 16 can be a professional filmmaking tool and I can prove it. Before I tell you how it's a professional camera, I want you to look at this split screen comparison and tell me which one do you think is the Sony a7S III, which one do you think is the iPhone 16 Pro and which one do you think is the GoPro Hero Black. All four cameras were shot at 4K at 60 frames a second at 24 to 28 millimeter lens equivalent um, in their log profile in the highest bit rate. Camera A was the iPhone 16 Pro, camera B was the Sony A7S III, and camera C was the GoPro Hero Black 10. Are you surprised? Now, before you have a go at me just calling the iPhone a professional camera, let me unpack it just a little bit further. The Sony A7S III is still regarded as one of the best event and wedding video cameras on the market, and its brother camera, the FX3, is actually being used in Hollywood, Hollywood films these days. As you can see, when the focal plane is flat, now that's kind of important, the camera has become almost indistinguishable. With the iPhone having roughly 12 and a half stops of dynamic range, up to 14 stops if it's at its base ISO, um, which more or less is keeping up with the um, Sony A7S III, which has 15 stops, uh, theoretically. So that's it, right? We can throw away those bulky old cameras and just whip out your iPhone on your next wedding or event shoot, right? Well, not quite for all these reasons, but for all these reasons, most importantly, dynamic range, it's ProRes codec, um, it's color rendition, and maybe the camera control are really good reasons why we can now pair the iPhone with a professional camera. So I've whipped up some guidelines for you to follow if you're considering using your iPhone on your next professional shoot. Number one, always have it mounted on a professional camera. You're only ever gonna use this camera as a wide angle camera with its 24 millimeter lens and maybe the ultra wide in a pinch as well. This also hides the fact that you are using it professionally. Number two, make sure you download the free Blackmagic app. This allows you to shoot in Apple Log with the ProRes codec in 4K at 60 frames per second internally. Now, if that's too much space for you, shooting in the H.265 codec should work fine as well. Number three, turn on the enhanced stabilization in the camera. It has fantastic gimbal-like stabilization. Number four, invest in a power bank of sorts. This will allow you to charge your phone and your camera at the same time for those long full day shoots. Number five, and this is the only reason it works, your main camera should cover all the shortcomings on the iPhone that I mentioned before, as well as all the focal lengths beyond 24 millimeters. So why consider this setup at all? For me, it's versatility without compromise. Now, when you're shooting events and weddings, these can be very dynamic and unpredictable situations, as well as many instances of things only happening once, such as the uh, bride and groom walking down the aisle. Now, you can be that insane person to ask them to walk down the second time so you can get the wide angle and one time you get the close-up shots. But to be honest, that's just unhinged and don't ever do that. Having the iPhone just sitting on top of your camera is also an extremely efficient, lightweight setup. Um, it's capturing everything that you'd want. It's sitting there right in front of you so you can see the framing. It also provides, provides rock steady stabilization, giving me flexibility in post to choose between the wide angle and the, say, close up, say, 50 millimeter or 85 millimeter angle without any compromise at all. Another great thing about the iPhone, if you're not using it as a camera, you can quickly switch it to be a monitor, a 2000 nit monitor nonetheless, which is fantastic for combating those midday bright sunny conditions that the Sony and many other prosumer wedding and event cameras struggle to fight against. So you might be thinking to yourself, why not just use another professional camera on top instead of the iPhone for your dual camera setup? Something like the say, ZV-E10, or the DJI Osmo. Now these cameras, they do have a slightly bigger sensor. At in the wide angle 24 millimeter range, you're not gonna really notice any differences in depth of field in my opinion. They would only be slightly better for the low light. Now, while the iPhone has 
so much versatility. Like it could be used as your drone monitor for drone piloting. It can be used as your clapperboard. It can be obviously be used as your monitor. Like I mentioned before, with this crazy bright 200 nit brightness. But it can also be used, you switch on the um, flashlight and it can now be used as your dance floor fill light as well, which says others can't. So this has got that versatility. Um, another thing I can think of off the top of my head is you've packed up all your gear, you're walking out from your wedding or your event and then something interesting happens and you've got all your gear on your back, whip out your phone from your pocket and you've got an, that camera is just sitting there capturing high quality footage, maybe a little bit grainy, let's be honest, but high quality footage um, of a moment that you would have missed otherwise. So hopefully I've showed you how the iPhone 16 Pro, given lots of constraints, can be perfectly used as your wide angle camera in our dual camera run and gun event and wedding videography setup. Not only that, but it can be used in so many other purposes, allowing you to leave more gear at home and doing these one man band run and gun shoots even more conveniently without the compromises. If you'd like to learn more about iPhone videography, as well as shooting wedding and event videos for one man band setups, consider liking and subscribing to this channel so I can make more of these in the future. Otherwise, if you didn't enjoy this video, um, here's a wedding fails video so you can reconsider your choice. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God.